welcome back to Project Zomboid. We have places we want to go. Specifically, if you look on the map here, this building here. This is definitely something. Something quite large. And I'm interested. And before we get over there, though, I obviously need to clear out some area here. Would be a good idea, I think. Should be okay. Let us get moving. Clear out some zombies. Find some stuff. Looted the nearby houses. Just kind of get in a perimeter of some fashion here. Would be helpful. Anything cool in this mailbox? I've already grabbed stuff from there. Zombie there. Got many zombie there. Any zombie here? We can deal with the many zombie here. It's helpful to not back up into even more zombies. In general. Zombies coming here. Alright, get in. Just right outside their aggro range here. We got a lot of them facing in the same direction here. Which is not really what we want most of the time. Hey. Next. Oh, zombies over this way. It's coming out of the woods. Oh yeah. When the axe works, it really works. Five one shots in a row. You'll love to see it. So some zombies over here. We have a sweater. Definitely have some scratch resistance, but it'd also be a sweater. This is a bit colder today. We're getting there. Bonk. <laughs> and there we go. A hoodie. It's got a hole in it, though. Not super excited about anything with a hole in it, obviously. We're still very much not to the point where we can fix clothes, unfortunately. Anyways. Let's go take a look in here. Nothing in the mailbox. Zombies in the backyard area. I'll deal with those. Sometimes not the most consistent. That's okay. Well, it's kind of not okay. It's very dangerous for your weapon to be inconsistent like that. But it does good damage. I also have zombies in the forest. That's a slight problem. Leather jacket with no holes in it. Take that. Can never have too many leather jackets with no holes in them. This seems to be our main stumbling block. As far as additional stuff is considered. Spare engine parts, tire pump, electric wire, two empty gas cans, metal bits, well, a whole propane tank here. You want to call that? Kind of close enough we can just walk back to the house currently. We could bother with bringing the car. We also have a lot of stuff in the car currently. That's another potential issue. It takes care of that section though. If we dropped a few more things, we can get a little more space too. That would also be an option. Zombie in here. Rude. Rude. Hey, a key. I'll take a free key. It's really hard to tell if a zombie actually successfully bit or not. There's a zombie. How did we miss that? That sounds like a bite. We're 
Okay. Rude. I'm trying to swing, but we're kind of too close or something. Right, what's, what's the situation here? Socks are fine. Vest still has one hole in it. Maybe the vest will tank some hits for us. I'd be fine with that. Searching for holes. Everything seems okay. What's our defenses doing anyways? Bite defenses could be better. Except for our head. Where we have the whole helmet. And the, the shoes are also pretty good. So that's nice. Yeah, we could get stronger stuff at some point. Something to keep looking out from, looking out for. All right, what do we got here? Got nothing. Canned pineapple. You want? Nothing. <laughs> Not much of the food department in this part. Or if it was all in the fridge. No, it wasn't. <laughs> they only had one can of food here, and that's it. There's a broken window. It's probably how one of those zombies got in here. Nothing in here. Fill the water bottle, though. <laughs> Love to see it. Not too much more space left here. There's a whole potted plant. That's fun. Grab a potted plant. That desk with a drawer there? Potentially. Clothes. Entertainment, I guess. Lipstick. Rubber duck. Not the best loot in this house so far. That's okay. Shotgun shells. Interesting. Dangerous. That's okay. Reading glasses. Don't need that. And a leash. Nope. Okay. If there's anything in this drawer here, if that's even not really a thing. Walk next to the chairs here. It is a drawer. Only got 10 space. Nothing too crazy. Okay. We'll mark that on the map as looted. Could put all this away. Like one piece of food and a bunch of things. That's not terrible. Let's store that over here for now. A little bit of looting, a little bit of just kind of getting a lay of the land and clearing the area out. Worthwhile things to do, I would say. Okay. Our current food stash here. Also need to remember we have all of those other canned foods and other foods in the car still. There's 18 weight of random stuff. Then here, got an extra pair of leather gloves too. That's nice. This pro propane tanks are very heavy. <laughs> That's for sure. Could even potentially just put those on the ground instead. They have a lot of weight and space and such. I don't think it's gonna fit in here. Nope. <laughs> All right. This is the Trap in Volume Four book. This is more useful since that's actually on our list of books we still need here. Get that. I just put that in the food container here. That's the most important pieces. So we got a can opener in here. Do we have a can opener in the car too? Can never have too many can openers. There you go. Look at all our keys. We got six key keys. Lovely. How many keys do we got in here? Nine? Wild. <laughs> Get a little hungry. Eat another tomato. Look in the car here. Here we've got hammer and screwdriver. We are missing a saw. That'd be beneficial to have. What do we got here? 
canned food, book, carrots, broken wood axe. Yeah, we don't have another can opener. So I'm having a can opener in the house for all those cans. And then another can opener in the car with all those cans. It's an idea. Okay. Got the map here. Right over here. You can cross here to these buildings. Looks good. A little bit of going through the forest to get over here. That's all right. Probably. Kids play area. Luckily, there are no zombie children or anything. That could get problematic. Smaller hitboxes and all that. I don't think Minecraft's super agile baby zombies would really be how things go, but you never know sometimes. Pencil, credit card. Good chunk of zombies over here to deal with, though. Let's do that. Could also be just a distance and positioning thing with the axe here. I mean, whether or not it actually just obliterates them. Hard to say. With a jack with three holes, not what you want. Denim. Sure. Bring out a couple more. Knock him over also helps. We get some like strength buffs for that. The thing is stronger as we keep on. Hidden things with axe. <laughs> That's the idea, at least. Another hunting knife there. Yeah. Zombie down. Work shirt. Too good. Alright. Well, there's too many other zombies out here. Just kind of clearing out the nearby area. That's nice. I'm not entirely convinced we're wearing underpants. It's probably fine. Just more more unnecessary weight. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look in here. Zombies! Zombies in here. When I looked. I should look through the windows first. That'd be a good idea. Look the size of that bookcase. Oh, you moved out of the way. <laughs> this time is unaware. <laughs> okay. Wild. Hey, another key. Love taking all the keys. Open a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Now this is just the book. I was gonna say, oh, this time has a lot of cool stuff. Doesn't. Not the case. <laughs> That's alright. It's got a tin foil hat. That's wild. Okay. Could be other zombies in here. Doesn't look like they broke any of the windows to get in here. That's really concerning. Alright, what do we got here? Got literature. Clicks on these. We haven't read this. That's good. Farming one, mother breaking one, first aid three. We do need first aid three. I think that. Slowly but surely crossing everything off the list here. Tailoring two. Yes, that was the last two we needed. Brilliant. So now, we only need like threes, fours, and fives. In the threes department, we need metalworking, trapping, and foraging. Three. Cool, cool, cool. Newspaper, like that. Lots of doors in this building. 
Wanted to just whack him on the ground there. There we go. Rude. You're still fine. You just got whacked around there a little bit. And socks. Rips. Close this window, though. They were very quick to attack there. Magazine, pip clips, staples. Give me a stapler, though, apparently. If it says it's junk, I'm gonna believe it. Right. Lots of dead zombies in here. Oh, my goodness. Double barreled shotgun, hand torch, light bulbs, military boost, shotgun shells, leather gloves. Okay. Yeah, I would like, I would like all that, please. Sounds like a lot of good stuff. Yeah, Magnum, revolver, newspaper. Lots of guns. Feels like we get more guns than ammo, though, so. That's a potential problem. I probably this doesn't have a drawer. It's fine. Bathroom. Tweezers and bandage, good. And the good bandages too, nice. Pipe wrench, painkillers, disinfectants, nice. Do we need a rotten m mouse? Probably not. <laughs> Fill the water bottle up again. Always a good plan. And the kitchen is in its own room here, wild. Soy sauce, we hate it. But can be used for something. And then rotten milk and rotten lime. Fortunate. Flints. Dry food, cracker cereal, bullying cube. Okay. It's a kind of encumbrance of two, huh? Kitchen knife. And spaghetti. We're doing fine on weight here. Can't fit it in the bag, we can fit it in the regular inventory. Gonna weigh quite a bit more there, though, fortunately. Oh, canned food and some tomato paste. And the regular inventory. A little bit encumbered. That's okay. Especially so we can call this building Export. Alright. Let's get this back to current base. How are all the dead zombies? How many kills we have to at this point? 543. Favorite weapon is wood axe. Can confirm. It's been a month and 14 days. Out of shape, underweight. Mm. We eat when we're hungry. I don't know. Do what we can here, I guess. We're trying. Okay. Started putting actual good food in here. Everything in here that's not the good food. And we got trapping, obviously, but mostly it's good stuff. A section for the not as good stuff. It's dried beans, tomato paste. Put that there. We got fresh tomatoes. No need a tomato paste. Dried stuff. Boiling cube of thirst. Let's get cereal here. This. I suppose we could read this quickly. Or we can read this when we are ready to kind of go to sleep. Eat a tomato. All we have is tomatoes. It's kind of a problem. Tailoring Volume 2. It's one of the good books we needed, so we'll put that in the food and things I really like to have chest here. Tweezers, backup boots, magazines, leather gloves, hunting stuff. First aid three. It's also one of the good ones. And here. Crackers is good food. 
And a whole box of shotgun shells. Alright. Yeah, we don't have all the different boxes for all the different things here either. That is something that would be good to have. For now, we just have a nice pile of different things. Always good to have some stuff. Okay. Yeah, three different guns. Got a box of shotgun shells for the double barrel with shotgun. Could theoretically work. I'm I'm just still incredibly concerned with the idea of drawing in all the zombies. Just feels like a thing that's not gonna go well, you know? Grab a few more tomatoes here. Three tomatoes is probably fine. We're not like we're going too far away currently. All right, so there's three smaller houses also in this section. Let's go look in that. And we'll try to look in the windows too. Scope out the place before we sprint ourselves right into the mess. Movement in the trees. It's zombies. So I know there's zombie there. Where'd it go? There you go. Very good. It's a very dense little area here. Lots of different houses right next to each other. Oh, come on. Look in the window here. This is a bathroom. Can't see anything of it. We don't know. There's the bedroom. On the corner. Not too much happening over here either. So that's good. Another bedroom. Okay, nice. Saw that right here. Okay. Start looking. Another can opener. Love it. That can be the car. Oh, there's the zombie outside. I just don't want to. Just don't want them breaking the windows, you know. It's just not a good thing to have happen. They don't even give any insulation or anything. Just extra weight. Yeah, don't break any of the windows. That's not good. Just makes it less protected and everything. Food, food, food. Butter. And a beer. Next to the rotten milk here. That's fine. Ooh, nice big bookcases here. Tailoring four. Yes. Grab that. Mechanics four. Yep. Regular book. Also good. I don't have too many regular books. We got chips, beer, rats. I really need an empty beer can. It's more junk. Empty water bottles. Water bottles. Grab those. We'd fill them with water. Good cooking magazine. Book. Fishing too. Don't need that. Missing crossword. Books. Lovely. Another little bookcase over here. All kinds of books. Ones. Where is everybody? The question. Duct tape. Light bulb. Jacket. No. A gun case containing a gun. A sweater. Scratch resistance. Two pillows. Another gun case. Could possibly open up these gun cases. And actually get the stuff out of them. I don't think we particularly need gun cases. Cumbrance reduction 20. It's not even very good. Let us take these 
Get the guns out of them. Gun case. You can just place the item on the ground here or something. Take this gun case and place item on the ground here. Rifle with rounds. I guess it moves the rifle and the rounds at the same time. Shotgun with shells. Yeah, we can fit it without the actual gun case part of the gun case, though. That's alright. I don't really need the actual case part, I don't think. Bathroom area. Bedroom. Nothing in it. Okay. So more guns, too. Not too shabby. Mark this one as check. And we'll grab their garbage bag. I want to set up some rain collectors here, too. Not really too necessary if we don't set up a farm. I don't know. Got some more books here. That's really good. More food. Also nice. Lots of good stuff. What's their skills doing? Fitness, we are still definitely working on it. Slowly but surely. Sprinting, we could use a little work too. Getting there, kinda. Okay. Canned food, canned food, canned food, canned food, chips. Butter can go in the sadness box. Beer in here. Skill books. And unread magazine. Butter of sadness. Other stuff. Anything we wanted. We wanted the can opener. Turns just all into this area here. And take the can opener back out. Now I'll go in the car. Those are just in, like, the back of the car. I'm gonna cue this. All these guns in here, too. Supposed to we could put the guns in the boxes on the floor or something, but eh. I don't think we can put... Con if we could put containers inside containers, that'd be silly. Like, put the gun cases in the backpack. <laughs> Comboing the bonuses and all that. Alright, back here. Can open for uni. Lovely. Alright. To the next house is here. You need to be on the lookout for more zombies, since there's clearly plenty of zombies around here. Axe is doing fine. Getting hungry. Eat a tomato. They're still fresh, which is great news. So how long that's gonna last though? That is the question. We'll keep going with it though. And we still have all those carrots too. I feel like a carrot would potentially last longer than a tomato. Hard to say for sure. Let's look in here, looking fine. Still obviously slightly concerned about, like, alarms. But definitely not help. We don't have a saw yet, so we can't, like, disassemble the doors yet. I still want to get in here, though, obviously. More windows? No? Or at least not once we can see. There's gotta be. I can make any information on 
Move grass. No. I can indicate where there'd be a window. Can't really see it from the side here, unfortunately. If we break the glass, it's gonna make a lot of sound. Worth it. Maybe we'll try to remove the glass shards. Smash window. I'm leaving. <laughs> Here, oh, zombies coming from the woods. All right, that's not great. Just gonna hang out up here for a bit. With any luck, the zombies won't bother me. to crouch they're walking past oh that's spooky there's be a lot of zombies down the direction I want to go now that's not ideal oh they're just coming around the house Let me just close the curtains here for a second. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. I think one of them saw. Slamming on things. Don't you break my door. Don't break my garage door either. These zombies from the woods. Yeah, in here. Y'all, the zombie movement does not inspire confidence. Oh, that's dangerous. Zombies everywhere here. They're just milling around. They didn't they didn't even keep going. Those ones are moving. Oh, that's right next to the house. They don't see me though. I think we're okay. I don't feel okay. Let's look around from this side. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's my unread magazines here. There's another one here. Not that kind of magazine. And also not that kind of magazine. Monster puzzle comic book. Yeah, we have, we have the other one in here already. Okay, that's fine. The garbage bag here. Oh. Come on through. Come on through the house. No good zombies. you there or something. You're dead. You're dead. 
Tired, that's all right. Sometimes it seems like they just want to break in for no reason. Just dangerous. We get him. <laughs> and there's zombie over there. So the zombie is inside. Oh, they broke my windows. Jerks. Come outside. This can't help themselves, it seems. I can come down, but not get him out. There you go. Oh, zombie with the little bag from back there. We're getting tired here. Not helping our ability to slay zombies, clearly. <laughs> and all of this because of the mess with the alarm. We just slam it on the window. Inside. Would you get out of here? No, I need to, I need to board up this window now. Oh my goodness. Circle now. A little space. One down. Afford to really look at these guys right now. The house is not safe currently either. This is a hole. Is this sneaking? gonna get right now. We're gonna close the door though. <laughs> oh the problems that we create. Sleep. to board up that window, clearly. Let's see how we can accomplish that. And also take a look and make sure our stuff's still fine. More zombies! In the places we cleared. Yay. <laughs> Next time. Goodbye. <laughs>